Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sweet Holy Spirit. God bless you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know. I hold no right for this music playing in the background. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said suddenly, um, kindly share for me if you can, please. It's just suddenly, I want to talk about my Goliath. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Good afternoon. Glory to God. We are going to talk about the head of Goliath today. The cha Goliath challenge. Hallelujah. I'm going to read it from 1 Samuel chapter 17. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. We have about one o'clock to go back to work. I want to talk about the challenges we have in our life. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to talk about Goliath today. Goliath in our lives. Hallelujah. Blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. I know it has been a while in consecration and prayer. Yeah, but I am here. I want to confront my Goliath today and defeat him. I want you to defeat this giant that is in our life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's a strange hour, isn't it? But I have to be led by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes. Let the Holy Spirit lead. We lead, guide, and navigate. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. We have in Goliath challenges. Hallelujah. And I want to show you how to confront your Goliath today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Can see the end of your glory. Thank you, Jesus. someone um please share for me please share as you share as you share i'm waiting i'm waiting to see a few of you come on because this is a very powerful powerful teaching i want to give you about confronting your goliath thank you jesus 
Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Who's having a Goliath situation today? Are you having a Goliath situation today? You need to come on. You need to join on the line. Hallelujah. You need to come on. Yes. Let us talk about our Goliath in our life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody, I everybody, this is Prophetess Dawn coming live to you today. I just want to welcome you all today. I want to welcome you all today. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you all today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We coming on invite someone hallelujah hallelujah we bless the name of the lord we honor god and i give him glory i'm coming to you today live i'm from the smoky mountains and i just want to talk about the confronting your goliath we are having a lot of goliath challenge in our life and I want to confront the Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I hope you are all doing well today. I hope you are all doing well today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I just welcome you live on this live, live broadcast today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In mighty name of Jesus. Father, I come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. 
and I pray with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, I am asking you today to give your people ears to hear and heart to understand in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, today I want to cover confronting Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus. So as I come before you today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ that there shall be no backlash or retaliation in the name of Jesus. I pray your strength that today as I, as I pray and as I give you the word of God, every Goliath must fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we just cover this environment. That's when you're watching today. And if there's any difficult in your family that represent the difficulty in your family, the, the Goliath, what Goliath may resent is something that is so difficult. That's something that is just stand there. Some people that are really going through life problem and don't know what to do. So we want now to know and show you how to confront your Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us confront our Goliath. Because we have Goliath in our family. I want you to know that there is so much Goliath in our family. And we need to know how to conf confront this giant. We need to know this, this tragedy of David in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going through so much things right now, saints of God. And we, are, we, we cannot retreat or surrender. So we have to know how to confront the Goliath that is in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. So right now I just plead total blood coverage in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you today about Goliath. And the one I want to talk to you today about Goliath, I want you to know that there will be always a Goliath out there. Everyone at different time encountered different Goliaths in their life. Yeah, this is what the, the variation of Goliath. A Goliath is any stubborn problem that you have in your life. A Goliath is a problem that persists. A Goliath is one that may it may, it may, it may keep coming back, coming back, or just refuse to go away. Some variation of, of a Goliath could be a bad habit in your life. It could be a spouse, it could be a child, it could be a family member that does not know the Lord and whose life is spiraling out of control. And even Lamando Sakada, even when they say they know the Lord, and even when they know the Lord, their life might be spiraling out of control. So you have to know how to confront your Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus. A continuous state of joblessness is a Goliath. Unemployment is a Goliath. Stagnation in your present life is a Goliath. A health problem in your life. And when you've done all what you can do, then you're still there. That is a Goliath. That is a strong Goliath that is in your life. When the loss of a loved one and you're able to continue to live a prosperous for life. Many times such problems seem like there is no solution in sight. But I'm here to tell you today that there is a solution in sight in the mighty name of Jesus. The good news about stubborn problem. Stubborn problem can be defeated. When you put on the whole armor of God. When you put on the whole armor of God. As in Galatians 6. Your problem must be solved because we're going to use the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me tell you, your problem can be defeated. Yes, it, what, there is hope. It doesn't matter how long you might be having this problem, but there is hope. Remember that there is hope. Where there is life, there is hope. I want to tell you something today. I want to tell us something today that there is hope no matter how long this problem seems to going on. And I will be using myself as an example today in the mighty name of Jesus. Your problem can be defeated. It can be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus by you using the word of God. Don't resign yourself to, faith, to, to the faith of your problem. I cannot resign myself to the faith of my problem. I cannot do that. Yes. 
I have, I have a Goliath that is in my house. I have a Goliath that is outside of my house. I have a Goliath to the left. I have a Goliath to the right. First forward. But when I tell you, when you pray, nothing beat prayer, but prayer meet, beat everything in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are here today to confront our Goliath. We are here today. I am here today. And I pray that you're listening. And I pray that after you listen this message later on on the replay, you will realize and recognize that there's a Goliath in your life that you need to get down in the mighty name of Jesus. This is, this is a God. He's an unchangeable changer. The, my God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he does not, he does not discriminate. He does not discriminate. He's a God yesterday, today, and forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus. The reality is that a stubborn problem don't just go away. So I want you to be encouraged. If I am encouraged, you'll be encouraged. You strong stand. You strong up and God. And keep the faith. There are keys to victory that you desire. However, they don't come on a platter. That they do not come. The key to victory don't come on a platter. It doesn't come on a, a gold platter. It doesn't come on a diamond platter. It doesn't come on a silver platter. You have to go into the word of God. Dissect the word of God. Believe in the word of God. And be encouraged. Stand strong. And when you keep the faith, they are key to victory that you desire in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to tell you something here now. There are things that the Lord expects for you and I to do. When we are faced with stubborn problems, let us look at the story of David and Goliath and how David was able to overcome Goliath. Remember David had picked up five stones, but he only used one to bring down Goliath. Hallelujah. So there is a key that when you are dealing with the stubborn problem, look beyond, beyond the problem and recognize there is a power of God. If let us go to Samuel chapter 1 verse 17 and I'm going to read from verse 17, 32 to 37. I'm not going to go long in the in Samuel chapter 17. But at your quiet time, hallelujah, you can go in and you can read and you can see what the word of God is telling you. Hallelujah. So let us, I'm going to start from 32. And David said, David said, David said to Saul, David said to Saul, let no, no man courage fail because of him, Goliath. Your servant will go out and fight with the Philistine. Then Saul said to David, you are not able to go against the Philistine to fight him, for you are only a young man, and he has been a warrior since his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant was tending to his father's sheep when a lion or a, a, or a bear came and, look at, and took a lamb out of the flock. I went out after it and attacked it and rescued the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose up again, me, I seized it by the, the whiskers and struck it and killed it. Let me go on down here. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear, and the and, and the uncircumcised Philistine will be one, will be one, one of them, since he has taunted and defied the, uh, the army of the living God. David said, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will rescue me from the hands of this Philistine. And Saul, Saul said to David, Go and may the Lord, Lord be with you. As you go through your problem today, as you go through the storm of life with Goliath, I want you to know something that when you, you need to look behind, beyond your problem, denying that the problem does not exist. No, that would be a lie. The problem exists. The problem exists. You only look at it for what it is. A Goliath understand that. That Goliath understand that God is bigger than any 
any of our situation no matter how big our situation are don't focus on the greatness of the problem focus on the greatness of your god of my god jesus christ of nazareth the son of the living god while you focus on god you will get the victory you have to look while you've been focused in on the lord you will get the victory in the mighty name of jesus I want you to recognize also that the battle is not yours, but it is the Lord. When you go down on to Samuel 17, 45 to 47, 1 Samuel, you are not alone. I am not alone. So quick, let us quick acting like all hope is lost. All hope is not lost. Even when the Goliath is in your household, even when the Goliath is in your household, even when the Goliath is sitting in your face, remember that all hope is not lost in the mighty name of Jesus. You're not lost hope. The Lord is here and he think of you and I. The Lord is hearing. So you're never alone. I am never alone. So guess what? I get up from that place and, and quit saying that I'm alone because I'm not acting like I'm alone and all hope is not lost. I want you to consider the victory that has been won. Remember that the victory has been won by faith. Know that your victory has been won in the mighty name of Jesus. Even when you do not see it yet, in 1 Samuel 17, 46, when you do not even see it yet, your victory has been won in the mighty name of Jesus. Hakotori and the Rabasaya, Yeraba Sandra Rabo Shatai, Makadorobo Sandra Rabasaya, Inrebo Kurianda Rabasatai, Yede Bando Rabaho Shakatai, Leka do Sandarabai, Ledabo Sandra Rabasatai, Lata do Sakuribai. In the mighty name of Jesus, your victory will be and has been won. Uh, verse 45 in Psalm 1 Samuel 17, it said, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the army of Israel, whom, I have, whom you have taunted. This day the Lord will hand you over to me and I will strike you down and cut off your head. I am here today to encourage someone that this day the Lord will hand your Goliath in your hand and you will cut his head off in the mighty name of Jesus. Did I cut my Goliath head off? Yes, I cut my Goliath head off. Did people that I encounter in my ministry cut my Goliath head, head, Goliath head off? Yes, they did. You see, in times, we are going to face battles. We are going to face trouble. Where enemy can be in our own household. The enemy can be your own children. Your enemy can be your own mother. Your enemy can be your own father. Your enemy can be someone close to you. When you are looking outside, that's the enemies out there. Yes, there are enemy line up out there as well. But when your family going to go on the other side, that that level to go to the enemy camp to fight you that's when you need to take the head totally off in the mighty name of jesus and i read it, what the bible said it said that that this day the lord the lord will hand you over to me and i will strike you down and cut your head cut off your head and i will give the corpse of to the army of the philistine this day to the birds of the sky and and all the wild beasts of the herd that all the earth may know that there is a god in israel and i read at and at this entire assembly many know that the lord does not save with the sword or with the spear for the battle is the lord and he, he will hand you over to us Remember that the battle belongs to God. Remember that the battle is not mine. Remember that the battle is not yours. Remember that the battle belongs to God in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember the battle belongs to God in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Le bandara basaya, yede rebo sandara bai, yendara bai busoto, yikada basaya. Even when you are afraid, which by the way is not wrong. Even when you are afraid, it's not wrong. Remember, you are never alone. While you continue to seek God, seek the face of the issue. At your quiet time, you go into second. If someone on and can pay, spin second. King 7 verse 14 and read it in your quiet time. Remember Jehoshaphat faced a similar crisis when his enemy bege um, um, besieged him. In 2 Chronicle chapter 20 verse 5 and 12. 2 Chronicle 20 5 and 12, 12. He was afraid but he turned over the battle to God. Hallelujah. First Samuel for chapter 15. It uh, first Samuel chapter 17 verse 15. I'm staying in first Samuel chapter 17. He turned it over to God. God wants you to turn over your battle and your problem to him in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to learn to plead your case with God. Uh, yes, I was going through. I was going through and I turned my case over to God and victory has been won in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't care what it looks like or what it seems like. I know that the victory has been won in the mighty name of Jesus. The Knowing God blessing and promise over your life, a life and and, and articulate them in prayers to your fathers in heaven. Articulate, articulate your prayers to your father which art in heaven. He's hearing you. He's waiting to hear from you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know today that you need to refuse the intimidation of people. Refuse to be intimidated by people. I want you to know to refuse intimidation in the mighty name of Jesus because what the enemy does he intimidates you with fear and once he start intimidating with fear and if he can get your mind he gets you so don't allow the enemy to intimidate you with fear in the mighty name of Jesus don't let he continue to intimidate you with fear because that's what the enemy do the enemy weapon is fear the fear can be self-fulfilling prophecy you do not want because of fear it is a self-fulfilling prophecy over your life you do not want that Turn, uh, turning away your eyes from God and giving the enemy leverage to attack you. Let us go over to Job chapter 3 verse 25. Let us just look at Job chapter 3 verse 25. I said I would go only be on here for 20 minutes. But the, the Lord is speaking and I just, you know, I just want to just follow the, um, follow the protocol of God in the mighty name of Jesus. My, my, my lo beloved administrator this morning tell me that I should just go for 20 minutes. But I think she understand that I wasn't got, not going to go for 20 minutes because the Lord is speaking right now in the mighty name of Jesus. So I just want to look at Job chapter 3 verse 25 in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know who is on with me, but it's not the size of the gun. It's the effect from the bullet. And this teaching is not for everyone. This teaching is not for everyone. Everyone not going to want this teaching. We just want a word of prophecy. We're not going to want this teaching. But we need to have the teaching to back up the prophecy in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let me see what Job 25 has to say. For the thing which I greatly fear come up on me. Job is saying and an overlapping with 1 Samuel chapter 17 with Goliath. Job is saying the thing that he fears, the thing that he fear, greatly fear, come up on him. Now in my situation of the hell 
that I have been in. If I was afraid of that thing, it would come up on me. But I did not let fear allow that thing to come up on me. Who, who today is allowing the fear to come up on them? I want you to know something today. Have a game plan. David's goal from the beginning was to kill Goliath and honor God. Who you need to kill to honor God? Who do you need to kill to honor God? Let me, I'm going to use my mic. Who do you need to kill to honor God? Lebaso shakuri bandarabai. Leba sandarabashata. Lebando somando shaya. Le sando shadabai. Yedebo shaya. Remember, he, he was, he was also jealous for God's glory in 1 Samuel 17, 46. You have to plan a strategy in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 6. In order to overcome your Goliath, you have to have a strategy. Once you have a strategy, you will overcome your Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know right now today, be, be ever ready in your walk with God to face your stubborn problem. Be ever ready to walk with God to face your stubborn problem. Some have no experience. But, but with God like David, in 1 Samuel 17, 37, he said he's going to kill Goliath, and he did. They have no time for, they have no time for prayer or fasting. Of any spiritual exercise that you are going to do, you need to have time to pray. You need to have time to fast in the mighty name of Jesus. This is able to give the, you an intimacy, a kind of intimacy with God. I, I, from this morning, I want to come on, and when the Lord is giving me the download, when when the woman of God tell me to face the Goliath today, and it was the Lord is giving me the download, it was so overwhelmed because it is just so much that I'm going to come back by the special grace of God tonight to do this in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to have a game plan, and I want you be, to be have a be very strategic don't allow the enemy to get your head in the name of Jesus I want you to be ever ready in your walk with God to face your stubborn problem some some people have no experience with God like David the, some people don't have any experience but you have to have that intimacy God was talking to David and David was talking with God you don't run to God in the moment of crisis because they want to wear a garment no matter how spiritual that they are they want to use when you look at first samuel 17 38 and 29 the secret of slaying goliath in your life is to have a conscious experience with god do you have a conscious experience with god I have a conscious experience with God and I have a continuous experience with God. I do not, I do not leave him out no matter what I'm going through. I was going through the hell and back and I had was to slay my Goliath. My Goliath might feel that he has not been slain, but my Goliath head has been gone in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know the secret of, of slaying the Goliath in your life you have to win continuous prayer and have that experience god when you have that experience with god power and might he already established the faithfulness of god and could count on him experience in god entail the fellowship with him by praying daily by fasting regularly by studying the word daily and the, as as also as the lord redeem you from every similar battles recognize and acknowledge that by them that establish a catalog of god that victory in your life for the victory in your life don't forget to thank him when you pass through this goliath experience don't forget to thank the lord acknowledge him this will build your faith to your future battles 
Hallelujah. This is will your fate to your future battles. So I am here to tell you today, you can, you can slay your Goliath in your life. The only way is by building a sexual relationship with God and experience his power, experience his might. I pray today that you experience a personal causing that every Goliath in your life must be slain in the mighty name of Jesus. Robo koto da bon chanda da bai yeto da ba sandali anda da bai randa da ba soto le konda ba shatai le ba kuta da ba sando da bo shaya mando soto li anda da bai let da da bo shanda da ba sete de bo shaya in the mighty name of Jesus I want to give you some keys to deal with your stubborn problem. I want to give you some keys that you deal when you're dealing with your Goliath. I want to give you the keys to deal with your Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus. There are keys that you need to have to deal with your Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus. Leba koto reba saya. Hi andara basete rebo shaya. Leba koto reba shaya. Le mandara baseta ya. Leba sandara bo shaya. Mando rebo shandara bo saya. Le tarabo shia rabai. Hi andara baseta rebo shaya. Le manda sotori ya rabai. Hi andara basende rebo shaya. In the name of Jesus. I cover myself with the name, the blood of Jesus. I ask you, O oh God, to give your e children ears to understand in the mighty name of Jesus. Manda raba soto ri arabai yanda raba sanda rabo shatai le bakando soto rabo sharai yanda rabo sete rebo sharai mando rabo sanda rabai landa raba sete rai i want today for you to to look beyond the problem and recognize the power of god i want you to look beyond your problem and resi and and recognize the power of god denying that there that, that problem does not exist you only look for what like what goliath understand that god is bigger god, than any stubborn situation no matter how big they are don't focus on the greatness of the problem focus on the greatness of your god focus on the greatness of my god in the mighty name of jesus i want you to recognize also that the battle is not yours the battle belongs to the lord you are not alone so quick acting like hope is lost i thought hope has been lost but i recognize i am not alone hope has not been lost i am not alone Recognize that you are not alone. As long as the enemy do not have your head, you will be okay. Because once he gets your head and he penetrates your mind, it's hard for you to get from that stronghold. So recognize that there's a God that answer it by fire. There's a God that answer it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't allow the enemy to manipulate your brains. Don't allow the enemy to manipulate your brains. Don't allow him to get to your mind because once he get to your mind, he got you. Yada ba send la ba sayam. Le mandara bo shayam. Ye da bandara rabo shatai. Ye kodora ba sandara ba in. La manda sandara ba soto shai. Le ba sandara ba shatai. Learn how to plead your case with the Lord. Learn how to plead your case with God. Learn how to plead your case with God. Learn how to plead your case with God in the mighty name of Jesus. Robo wababa shonda raba saya. Yeto rebo sanda rabai. Lamando seti andarabo. Yeto rebo sanda rabai. 
Mandara basete ketu lubasha. Le bando sondara boshaya. Ramanda daba sende de boshatai. In the name of Jesus. Learn that your problem is not too big for God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every Goliath, I want you to know today that every Goliath must fall in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. It does so. I just want you to, I just want you to know. I just want you to know to recognize today that if, if there's a spirit in your family that recognize and